either so in this video i'm going to show you how you can validate email with the help of php without having to use jquery or any other external library so let's start by writing the function in my case i'm going to write is valid email i'm going to pass it say email we can have variable name mail okay then we will set our check to zero this is for the default position and after that we will have simple if else condition so if filter underscore where within which we will check our mail then another is filter validate email okay so once you use that you can simply set your check variable to one to see if it's validated and return check default as is just in case if you don't so this if condition checks whether the mail that you sent is proper so filter validate email it validate it for you okay so let's go up and create variable name mail and give it our mail address so let's say ryan at pobox.com after that we will also check equals to it's valid mail and let's pass it mail right and then we will simply echo check right i'm making it simple so nothing fancy so it will either show one or zero whatever depending on whether the email is valid or not if you remove this dot then it will flag that invalid mail error okay so let's go and execute this okay so it will not generate just because we don't have the dot okay so once you fix this dot and you will find that it will show one that means the email that we have here is validated so you can pause the video and go through the code what we did so far we created our mail variable also we created another variable calling for function is valid email and passed our mail variable over there and within this method or function we have check set to zero so default value of check is zero and in if condition we are filtering our mail using filter validate email so it will check set to one if it is validated and or else it will return zero and then depending on that result echo will either show one or zero for example if we don't use dot com so it should return zero okay so pause the video Go through the code and try it on your own.